All right, everybody, this is Nash here, and today we're going to be going over the different scenarios for the Texas Longhorns to make it to the championship game uh, for the Big 12 in December. Uh, now, at the end of the day, the all the goals are still on the table. The Big 12 championship goals are still on the table. Uh, college football playoff goals are still on the table, as you'll see right here. Texas is the seventh, we're seventh in line uh, for the uh, percentage of chance to make the make it to the college football playoff right now. So, <clears throat> everything is still on the table, and honestly, of all these teams, Texas has the has the easiest path uh, the rest of the way. So you look at this. I mean, does Texas win the rem finish the remainder of the season? Say we went out. Do we win the conference title game? Yes, ninety eight percent chance to make the playoff. So clearly, the goals like making it to the championship game is still a potential possibility for this Texas Longhorn team and, but at the end of the day we just need to keep on winning out and get to where we play Oklahoma but is it possible is it guaranteed to do that we'll be going over that in this video so drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and then comment down below your thoughts on Texas's chance to not only make the Big 12 championship game but make the cultural playoff and a real quick I did tell y'all some I did tell some of y'all that hey we're gonna have some statistics uh I will answer some some stuff that I left out. I felt like I just got bit by something. Uh, I'll answer some stuff that, you know, I'll go in depth and look at the red zone trips and uh, look at outside the red zone trips. So 50% of trips outside of the red zone. So, you know, trips at uh, times that we don't make it into the red zone ended in a touchdown. Compare that to 48.5% of trips inside the red zone ended in a touchdown. So we're making we're, – we're scoring more often – when we're not in the red zone, which just means we're having explosive plays. 10.7% uh, of trips in opponent territory, not in the red zone, but again, end in a field goal, compare that to 37.5, end in a touchdown. So when we're scoring outside the red zone, we're scoring touchdowns, not field goals whatsoever. And then 107 out of 196 potential non-red zone points scored, that's 54.5. Uh, the only thing that's notable about that is – We've scored more points outside the red zone than we have inside the red zone. And on uh, compare that to 24 or 28 trips. So it's this is something that needs to be cleaned up for us to be able to make these scenarios happen. But speaking of that, let's just go ahead and hop right on into it. And we'll start off with what are the tie scenarios and all that, okay? So number one, two-team tie. And then you also have... Uh, you got your multiple team ties as well. <clears throat> you can pause this and really read this in depth if you want to. I'll give you the layman's as we kind of go through these. But basically, all you really need to know is, number one, that's a head-to-head. -head. Number two is the next high, when it's saying the next highest common ranked opponent, so say just a hypothetical, Oklahoma, Texas, and West Virginia are all tied. TCU is in, and say, or BYU. Say BYU is their next common ranked opponent uh, that's in the standings. You'd go and you'd say, okay, well, what did Oklahoma, what did Texas, what did, T uh, what did West Virginia do versus BYU? And if they all won the game, you move on to the next step. That's all that is. So <clears throat> then you go and you do the win percentage against all of the common opponents in the conference. So you're basically, you're taking not just one single team, you're taking all all of the conference opponents. And then number four, that one gets a little tricky, wordy. Uh, combined win percentage in conference games of conference opponents, basically what that means is strength of schedule. So you're taking the combined record of all the opponents and you're saying, hey, uh, like so say Texas, say the teams that Texas play win more games than we lose. We're going to have a stronger strength of record in the conference. And a quick note, you're out of conference opponents do not weigh into this at all whatsoever. So whether it's multiple team tie or two team tie. Now, that being said, let's head on into scenario one. And scenario number one, this is, in my opinion, the most likely Texas wins out the rest of the games. Oklahoma wins out the rest of the games as well, goes undefeated in the regular season. And the result is Texas versus Oklahoma is going to be in a Big 12 championship game uh, rematch. That is 100% guaranteed, and I'll tell you why. Because for that to happen, there are a there are a number of potential teams that could really, you know, maybe spoil the party for Texas. 
And those two teams, really, you're going to see as we're going over in these scenarios, because at the end of the day, if Texas – if and here, let me go full cam. If Texas loses a game, it doesn't matter. Like uh, this this video, like the, the playoffs, all that stuff is out the window. So we're – in this scenario, we're saying, hey, with playoff hopes still alive, what's Texas' path to the conference championship game? And obviously, if Texas wants to make the playoff, we have to win out the rest of the way. So – you know, Iowa State and Kansas State, we're not we're, we're considering wins against those teams just off the rip. Now, that being said, Oklahoma, they play West Virginia and Oklahoma State. That's the that's the Oklahoma State, West Virginia, and then Kansas State and Iowa State. Those are all four of the one loss remaining teams. So, if Texas and Oklahoma both go undefeated the rest of the way through, there will be no more one loss remaining teams outside of Texas and Oklahoma. And this, in my opinion, again, is the most likely scenario. And then here on scenario number two, as you're going to see, it's the simplest in my opinion. <clears throat> Texas winning out the rest. Obviously, Texas is going to be winning out the rest, so kind of almost I'm not going to say that anymore. Uh, but Oklahoma loses to Oklahoma State, and they both finish with one loss. Uh, the result is going to be a Texas versus Oklahoma rematch in the Big 12 championship game. That is guaranteed. And the reason why is because common opponents. So what you want to go to is you'll be looking at uh, the multiple team ties when you go down to the record and the uh, against common conference opponents. Oklahoma State, they've lost versus Iowa State. So Texas, in a scenario where we've won versus Iowa State, BYU, and Kansas. Uh, no, sorry, uh, Oklahoma State, they lost to Kansas, not Iowa State. So in a scenario where you're judging off the common opponents. Texas is going to make it in over Oklahoma State. You don't need to get to the strength of record. And uh, that is going to be on uh, – let me just go ahead and bring up the slideshow here. Uh, that is going to be one percentage number uh, – step number three, I, I should say. Step number three. So – and I'll make it kind of easier for you all to see that. <clears throat> now, moving on. This is the least likely scenario, in my opinion, scenario number three. Texas wins out the rest. Oklahoma loses to West Virginia and uh, West Virginia as well, finishing with one loss. The result is going to be a three-way tie that determines the home team. And then a two-way, a remaining two-way tie, uh, the teams break the tie in the two-way tie-breaking procedure. So this one is really where the convoluted mess can actually kind of come out. Uh, head-to-head, you cannot consider these because Texas has not played West Virginia, so they won't consider a head-to-head, uh, even though Oklahoma has that. Then you go to the record versus the highest, uh, the next highest commonplace opponent in the standings. That's either going to be BYU or TCU. In this scenario, all three of these teams have beat BYU and TCU, so you move on to that. Then you go to win percentage against all common opponents. Again, all teams have beat BYU or TCU, so you move on to step number four which is strength of conference schedule, strength of record in the conference. And this is to determine the home team. And that where, where this really becomes a problem, okay, and I have this scenario number four, you're going to see it's a disaster scenario. It's technically the same scenario as number uh, this scenario three. If Texas has a lower strength of schedule in conference than West Virginia, we will miss out. And so if – and we went so if we're in a scenario where Texas, Oklahoma, and West Virginia are all sitting with one loss in the in the Big Twelve conference, and Texas has a lower strength of schedule than West Virginia, we're missing out. It's at, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because West Virginia, they're going to beat us in the multiple team tie to determine who is the number one seed. And then if you if you noted if you want, read that through all the way, you'll notice. After they get do after they get through you know, determining who is the number one seed, who's going to be the home team, then they just move on to a two way tie. Well, in a two way tie, in a scenario where Oklahoma, West Virginia has beat Oklahoma and they finish with one loss, tough luck, Texas. You finish. You you went eleven and one in the in the regular season. Your only loss was to Oklahoma. And you're not playing. A, you're not playing the conference championship game. Because then you would then move on to okay. West Virginia gets the number one seed. Well, then what happens with Oklahoma? Oklahoma has a head to get head to head against Texas. 
go back to go back to the two team tie. If two teams are tied in first place, winner will be the number one seed. And if uh, if two teams are tied for second place, winner will be the number two seed. And no uh, no visiting team and uh, the visiting team. So it's just this is a scenario where you don't want this one to happen. You don't. And if you if this does happen, you just have to hope that we have a higher strength of schedule than West Virginia. Otherwise, we're cooked. So it is. It's you know this is not a scenario where you really want to be in for Texas. I mean, you'd much rather have it to where Texas is obviously, or if we went out the rest of the games, we are in complete control, and it, there's no scenario where we can be booted from the playoffs. But there is, and it just comes down to that strength of record. And that's one of those things that I, you can't predict because you can't predict who's going to go, who's going to do what in conference. You can't predict who's going to who's going to go where, uh, what the records are going to be. At the end of the day, you just have to hope that teams like Iowa State handle their business, uh, teams like Kansas State handle their business. You have to hope that our strength of record in conference is there. But at the end of the day, like I said, I mean, I just go back to – the most likely scenario, in my opinion, Texas wins out the rest of Oklahoma, goes undefeated in the regular season, and the result is Texas versus Oklahoma rematch in the Big 12 championship game, guaranteed. And just to kind of go and uh, show you all again what, that, what that'll what look like. Uh, one second. Sorry about that. But again, here's what that looks like. Texas, we, if we went out, Win the conference title game, that is a 98% chance to make the playoff, uh, 26%. And then, so to show you all what Oklahoma, do they win out? Do they lose a 55% chance to make the playoff? So right now, the the FPI machine, the numbers, all that stuff, they're saying, hey, if whoever – it's basically whoever wins that Big 12 championship game between Texas and Oklahoma. Uh, obviously, if Oklahoma goes undefeated, wins the championship game. They're getting the playoff, but at the end of the day, well, all this stuff is going to figure out figure itself out a lot more. We have Notre Dame, uh, not Notre Dame. We have Penn State versus Ohio State this week. Uh, a lot of good matchups going on. It should be fun. So, all right, everybody. Hope you all have a great day. Big Twelve championship hopes are one hundred percent still alive, and you know what? So are the playoff hopes. And that, with that being said, hook. Em.